What is going on world? What's up YouTube? It's Zero here. Today there was quite a bit of news that went down in the community, so let's get right into it everyone. Our first news story is coming from Charlie Intel, guys. So they tweeted out a link to a video that they made which was called Why Call of Duty 2017 Likely Won't Be Set in the Future. So this video, for those of you who did not see it yet, I would definitely recommend watching it, guys, because it does really bring a lot of hope to there being a boots-on-the-ground Call of Duty in 2017 because of like how the timing has been up to this point for the different Call of Duty games. Obviously, we've gotten now four years of just like futuristic games, and all of them were in development beforehand, and so I know a lot of us are very frustrated with the way that this has been going as far as getting all these futuristic Call of Duties, but Charlie Intel was just giving a very, you know, an honest opinion, and I think that their opinion is very on target. I think that with Infinite Warfare, this is the last we're going to see of futuristic Call of Duties, at least for a while, and we're going to go back to either modern day or even pre-modern day. So that's what I personally think, guys, and I definitely think that you guys should check out this video and kind of leave your own opinion and kind of your own thoughts as to what you think, but I don't think we should give up on the Call of Duty, you know, franchise. I think that obviously all of us who have been a part of this franchise for as long as we have love it for what it is, regardless of the ups and downs. I know a lot of people end up leaving the community, end up, you know, joining a different community or they end up playing other games, whatever the case might be. But for those of us who are die-hard Call of Duty fans, we will stick here through thick and thin, and I think that there is light at the end of the tunnel, guys. There will be boots on the ground in 2017. That is personally my opinion, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And let's move on to the next thing, guys. Sword General ended up getting verified on Twitter. Yes, guys, this was huge news. I was not expecting General to get verified for quite some time. So this is the second Sword member now who has been verified. The first was Crude, now General. It's crazy that both these guys are now verified. Congratulations, General. Uh, absolutely amazing. Keep up the fantastic work, man, and definitely deserved the verify check mark. That is fantastic. Moving on, everyone, to the next thing. There was a new director's block member. His name is Macho. He is actually the team captain for Dare currently, and uh, I'm really excited to have this guy in director's block. Uh, welcome to the block, man. And moving on, guys, since we're talking about Dare, there was a new Dare member. Her name is Ashtranova. I believe that's how you say her name. Uh, congratulations on joining Dare. Very excited to see her progress in the community. And moving on, everyone, to the next thing. There was a member of the Call of Duty community who got verified on Instagram. His name is FaZe Blaziken, guys. Yes, he got verified finally on Instagram. I thought he was verified a while ago, but he just got verified, which is uh, fantastic. So congratulations, man, on getting verified on Instagram. That is a huge achievement. And moving on, guys. To the next thing, there was a new Obey member. His name is Glory. Congratulations on joining Obey. This is a fantastic pickup for Obey, and he's going to be a great member, I am sure. Congratulations once again on joining Obey. And last but not least, guys, there were some new members to the L7 studio. So they ended up picking up Mixo and Darian both to the team, and then they also picked up a couple of L7 Designer RC winners, which was Alt and Seclusion. So congratulations to all four of these guys on joining the studio. And with all that stuff being said, guys, that is going to end off the video for the day. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And if you did, leave a thumbs up, subscribe for new, stay positive, and as always, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.